Hello, welcome back to Going Walkabout. There's one thing in my trip list that I'm not happy with, and that's the very simple thing of the text that you write with every post. Today, we're gonna dive deep into that. When you travel, you write posts, and with every post you write, you can leave a bit of text. That is what you can see here in the trip view. And this is the list of posts, and here I have a small little bit of text, and so on and so on. Now, of course, you can choose to write a little text, you can write a lot of text, both should be possible. But when scrolling through this list, you don't want to see huge amount of text at the same time because it just makes it less entertaining. So therefore, if the text gets too long, we want to have a show more button like it is here. And this is a common problem. It has been solved by many people. So I also ventured out in the internet and I found a solution. And let's look at the solution I have here. It's this solution. But basically, well, they're all the same. Uh, they use the same pattern. We have a text, and in the background, we put the text again. The initial text, there is a line limit on it. So depending on how many lines you want to show, is what you see here. Then in the background, the text get rendered again, and we measure the size, whether it fits or not. And based on that, we can show an expand button or a show more button, as you see here. And uh, based on that, expand or collapse it. That's a very simple principle. It gets a little bit tricky. In this situation, you want to know if that still fits on the lines that you set. So in this case, this piece of text wants to cover two lines and it could be that it fits like the small text and the, the, the one below, but it could also that it doesn't fit. But you even might have that it does fit but there's no room for the button or when it doesn't fit and there is still no room for the button. So you still need to truncate the text and adjust that. And in order to do that, you need to calculate the size of the text. Yeah, you need to calculate the size of the text using the font you have, etc. to make sure those calculations and those calculations take place here. I'm not going to explain it, but it just figures out how much text fits in. And then based on that, it creates a new text, but actually the full text is including that more button. And then when it gets rendered, that button is put on top. And anyway, it works. And as you can see here, it's quite nice because I can show more, I can show less, and here I can do more, no, the, the same thing. Even if there's a lot of text, see, it shows and it gets scrollable, of course and it works. So I was happy with this solution, it worked, but then when I started running it in the application, I suddenly had very weird behavior. Let me see if I can uh, quickly replicate that because we go to the trip and the trip we start scrolling. And what I had was that my text here was moving around, making the overall looking and scrolling behavior very irritating and very annoying in a way to do. And the problem is if I do it here, of course you don't see it, eh? that's always the case, but usually it works to, like a show. You look at the bottom of the simulator, it disappears and it comes back. And when it comes back, it falls from the top. And that's because there's some recalculation. It's using the geometry reader, but the geometry reader is changing its dimensions because it is scrollable. And I actually also for showing my images use the geometry reader to do calculations on the height of the cell, etc. So that's probably all confusing it. But in a real device with real text, it's even worse than I just demoed here. Huh? We can see if we can see it again. We go here, it disappears. Yep. And you can see it's falling from, from like the middle of the screen to the bottom, making it a not very pleasant experience when you scroll through the list. So I had to do something about it. And I first tried to figure out if I could fix it or what was the situation. But then at a certain point I thought, no, I just need to keep things simple because simplicity always wins. That's the thing I use also in my professional life. Keep things as simple as possible. So I also here went for a more simple route. So I created a new uh, expand text that has the same basic principle we put the text, you put a line limit on it. I calculate in the background the size and that's it. And I just don't do any funny stuff anymore with 
trying to calculate the length of the text based on the font, etc. And just to make it really, really simple, I just put the button below it. It always fits. There's no discussion. I can use the standard, in this case, two lines with the auto ellipse here that is provided by Swift UI. And I don't need to do any, any weird stuff at all. And uh, this also works. I also removed the, the show less because uh, you look, you view, and you continue scrolling and it is fine. But in this case, it would also be very simple to do a show less, but it's not necessary for, for my application to do that. And this way, again, keep it simple. Simplicity wins, it works. But let's check this also on a device. Now, for that, we need to do a little bit of a change because from expandable text, we go to the expand text here and we can run this on the simulator now and let's see how that works out we have the trip go to the same trip and well we will not see that behavior but let's go to the bottom where we had the most clear scenario where it doesn't work but here i can scroll whatever i want uh, and nothing happens and I suspect the reason is that I don't need to recalculate the length of the text because I just use very simple, plain text field with a line limit that that works. And of course I can uh, show more and I nicely see the rest of my text that, uh, that I want to see here. So again, sometimes you run into a problem, you get into a let's say I call it a spiral of complexity, trying to fix it, trying to make it better and, and tweak it. But in my case, I took a few steps back, took a simple solution. It might look a little bit uh, less nice in the, in the overall view here where you see the text and the button is below and not at the end of the text. But the advantage is that the scrolling behavior is much nicer. It's very clear, it's very simple, and it just works. And I think that last part, it just works, is extremely important, especially for me, because I want things to be reliable. Anyway, that was my expendable text. This is really, I think, the last thing in my trip list that uh, for my trip view that I need to fix. Uh, it's done. It's another step forward and we can move on to the next topic. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, subscribe anyway because the next one might be better for you. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again.